Skylanders Spyro's Adventure for the Nintendo 3DS is an original tag team action platforming game by Vicarious Visions that brings toys to life in 3D. As a handheld complement to the console version, it gives players a new story, new adventures, and a new way to play with their Skylanders. Now kids can bring their entire Skylanders experience out of the living room. The game comes with the wireless mini portal of power, the exclusive Dark Spyro, the flame sword wielding igniter, and the quick and deadly stealth elf. The same toys and adventure packs that are playable in the console game are also playable on the 3DS, and each character stores their experience and hat for cross-platform play. We're excited to show you this 3DS exclusive. Let's jump right in. In this new adventure for the 3DS, players become a portal master and summon their Skylanders to help the mystic seekers free the Radiant Isles from the grip of Hector and his dark mirror. See that little guy there? That's Wendell, an apprentice seeker who is helping you on your quest. He helps you cast the magic spell which will capture Skylanders into the 3DS. Because this is a handheld game, we let you store two Skylanders and crystals on the bottom screen, which you can switch between instantly with a simple tap. This provides a flexibility to be away from the toys when you can't bring them along. Now if you walk up to Wendell and tap Y, you'll toss Igniter's crystal to him. Then he places it in his staff to initiate the spell. Now it's up to you. We combine the magic of Wendell's spell on the top screen with clear instructions for doing your part on the bottom screen. Once a toy is captured, we fly into the crystal and... There's Dark Spyro! Now Wendell tosses the crystal back with our new Skylander inside and we can jump into a level. The 3DS game takes place in its own realm within Skylands, the Radiant Isles. As players explore this world, they'll discover brand new places and sites that are fresh, but still true to the unique, charming world of Skylanders. See that little guy in the button? That's Buford, a seeker that Hector kidnapped and imprisoned. We're gonna go in and rescue him so that he can return to the sanctuary and power his part of the Shattering Sigil, the seeker's weapon to defeat Hector. We try to present the player with choices at every turn. We show off objectives like rescuing poor old Buford there, but we give the player the choice on how to pursue them. Now here's a great example of the moment-to-moment -moment choice we offer. I want to take on some tricky platforming, so I'm going to swap to Trigger Happy with a tap to the touchscreen. His speed and agility will let me bound over these platforms with ease. His guns come in pretty handy too. Every player gets to choose which Skylanders they bring into an environment, then they get to choose when to swap them in for a fight. You saw how Trigger Happy blasted through some smaller enemies. Let's take on the bad guys up ahead with a tag team attack. Dark Spyro can clear out small enemies by creating energy hazards, then soften up big beasts with close range attacks. But getting close to monsters like that can be dangerous. Trigger Happy's range might give him an edge. In Skylanders 3DS, the choice is up to you. All these little vials that we're picking up are Radiance Energy. When you finish a level, this energy will power up your Skylanders by giving them an experience bonus. If you need a little help during a level, you can spend some Radiance to revive a defeated Skylander, or use a magic item from an adventure pack. Snag the Radiance fast enough and you'll get a nice combo going, a Radiance Rush that doubles all the Radiance you pick up. Now you get to decide, do you take your time and explore, or rush ahead and get as much energy as possible? Whenever you complete an objective, you get a Radiance Crystal. Hector, the villain, senses this and will start chasing you down. A countdown starts and if it reaches zero, he'll catch you, ending the level. I've got my key, I need to find the cage and save Buford, and I have to do it before Hector catches up to me. There's an elemental gate, which leads to a bonus challenge. Each of your Skylanders is linked to one of the eight elements. Trigger Happy is tech, so he can't open a magic gate, but Dark Spyro can. Inside the gate, you'll find advanced challenges that will reward you with special presents. You'll find two types of presents as you explore, hats and scrolls. Hats are the must-have fashion accessory of the Skylanders universe. You can even save them to your toys and bring them to other Skylanders games. Players will learn how to control each of their Skylanders to take on tiny swarmers, close-up melee fighters, dangerous ranged enemies, and hard-hitting heavies. But players will also discover that each type features its own style of moves and unique special attacks. Hey, you freed Buford! Your progress in Skylanders 3DS is driven by completing challenges and collecting crystals. Each level has a different set of challenges. Goals like defeating enemies, collecting radiance, finding hidden treasures, or smashing special targets. The crystals open up new areas for players to explore on their quest to stop Hector. Once they've traveled throughout the Radiant Isles and rescued all the seekers like Buford here, players will finally get a chance to confront Hector face to face. We made it to the end with time to spare, but I've had a little practice. When players get to the end, there's a nice payout sequence. They get extra radiance for time left on Hector's clock, and a special bonus each day for two elements. 
This encourages players to swap in new Skylanders each day to maximize their bonus. All of that pays off in experience, leading to level ups for your Skylanders. Plus, you'll get to open up your presents and see any hats or scrolls that you found. And there's Buford, safe and sound. He's gonna power up part of the Shattering Sigil for us. Once he and all the other Seekers are reunited, they'll be able to use that Sigil to help you win the battle against Hector. Skylander Spire's adventure for the 3DS is an original tag team action platforming game by Vicarious Visions that brings toys to life in 3D. It's an original game with 26 levels, an exclusive Dark Spyro character with new abilities, it uses all the same toys and adventure packs as a console, and it's the only way to bring your toys to life in real 3D.